Hi, welcome to Audiobook Academy. This is a self-paced audiobook. There's no need to keep an eye on things. Just pay attention. Thank you for taking the time to listen. This is an audiobook summary of Contagious by Jonah Berger. Virility is not something that is born, it is something that is created. People like to share things that make them appear attractive to others. The term tip of the tongue refers to the top of the mind. When we are concerned, we are willing to share. If something is built to be seen, it is also built to be developed. People enjoy sharing practical, useful information with their friends and family. You can put this information to good use. Information is disseminated under the guise of idle conversation. After examining hundreds of contagious messages, products, and ideas, Jonah Berger discovered that the same six ingredients, or principles, were frequently at play in each instance. Social currency is a term that refers to the value placed on something by others. Triggers. Emotion is a powerful thing. Public. It has a practical application. Stories. These principles can be condensed into a single word or abbreviation. When put together, they form the letter's steps. Word of mouth is the most important factor in purchasing decisions, accounting for anywhere between 20% and 50% of all purchases. Despite this, according to research conducted by the Keller Fay Group, only 7% of all word of mouth occurs online. People like to share things that make them appear attractive to others. As Berger explains, just as people use money to purchase products or services, they use social currency to achieve desired positive impressions among their families, friends, and colleagues. As a result, in order to get people talking, businesses and organizations must create social currency. Provide people with a way to make themselves look good while simultaneously promoting their products and ideas. Three methods are recommended by Berger for getting people to talk about a product or an idea. Find people's inner remarkability, use game mechanics to their advantage, and make them feel like insiders. Let's take each of them in turn. 1. Inner remarkability is a quality that distinguishes a person. According to Berger, the key to discovering inner remarkability is to think about what makes something interesting, surprising, or novel in nature. One way to generate surprise, for example, is to deviate from a pattern that people have grown accustomed to seeing. The sale of a $100 cheesesteak at Barclay Prime, a Philadelphia-based restaurant, created quite a stir. It defied expectations and, as a result, sparked widespread discussion. It is possible to discover the inner remarkability of any product or idea by considering what makes something stand out in the first place. Blendtec, for example, was able to get millions of people to talk about their products through a series of YouTube infomercials that they produced. 2. Take advantage of game mechanics. Game mechanics are the elements of a game, application, or program, including rules and feedback loops, that contribute to the enjoyment and compelling nature of the game, application, or program. What's interesting about game mechanics, though, is that they motivate players on an interpersonal level by encouraging them to compare themselves to others. We are concerned not only with what others are doing, but also with our own performance in comparison to others. We are concerned with hierarchical relationships, and game mechanics generate social currency as a result. Why? Because doing well makes us appear to be successful. Because people want to brag about their accomplishments, game mechanics help to spread the word about the brands such as Delta or Twitter, or domains, such as our golf handicaps or children's SAT scores, where they achieve them, according to the study. Utilizing game mechanics necessitates the quantification of performance. However, if a product or idea doesn't automatically accomplish this, it must be gamified first. Furthermore, taking advantage of game mechanics entails assisting people in publicizing their accomplishment. Foursquare, a location-based social networking website, allows users to check in at bars, restaurants, and other locations by using their mobile phones or other mobile devices. Foursquare users can earn special badges for checking in, which can help them find their friends. Users can earn special badges based on their check-in history. Make people feel like they are insiders. 3. Scarcity and exclusivity increase word of mouth by making people feel like they are part of a select group. When people receive something that no one else has, they are made to feel special, unique, and of high social status, writes Berger. Because of this, people will not only like a product or service more, but they will also tell their friends about it. Why? Because telling others makes them look good makes them feel good. Insider knowledge is valuable in social situations. 2. Triggers are used. The term word of mouth does not apply to all situations. For example, new food products rely on immediate word of mouth to gain traction. 
If customers do not immediately begin purchasing a new anti-cholesterol spread, the store may decide to discontinue carrying it. Other products or ideas, on the other hand, such as anti-bullying campaigns and new policy initiatives, benefit more from word-of-mouth marketing over time. Triggers, according to Berger, are small environmental reminders of related concepts and ideas that encourage people to continue talking. Why? Because easily accessible thoughts and ideas lead to action in the real world. Berger was the first to discover that different locations contain a variety of triggers. According to one study, voters were more likely to vote in favor of school funding if the polling place was located within a school district. Thus, rather than focusing solely on creating a memorable message, consider the context, argues Berger. If the message is going to be triggered by the target audience's everyday environment, consider this. Habitats or sets of triggers exist for products and ideas that cause people to think about them or take action based on their existence. Furthermore, it is possible to expand the habitat of an idea by establishing new connections with external stimuli in the environment. Even though KitKat isn't normally associated with coffee, an advertising campaign that featured the two products repeatedly was able to link the two and increase sales by 8%. When selecting a trigger, Choose one that occurs frequently and occurs close to where the desired behavior is taking place to maximize effectiveness. Finally, create a new association rather than linking a product or idea that is already associated with a variety of other things. Triggers and cues prompt people to speak, choose, and employ their skills. Triggers are what keep people talking after they have started talking because of social currency. The term tip of the tongue refers to the top of the mind. 3. Emotional state positive articles were found to be more likely to be shared than negative articles, according to Berger, who conducted an analysis of thousands of New York Times articles in order to better understand why certain pieces of online content are widely distributed. That comes as no surprise. After all, when we are concerned, we are willing to share. However, that was only part of the story. Berger also discovered that people were more likely to share articles that elicited feelings of anger or anxiety than articles that did not. Why? Because anger and anxiety are high arousal emotions, they should be avoided. As a result, in order to make products or ideas popular, it is necessary to emphasize feelings, the underlying emotions that motivate people to take action. More importantly, choose ones that will arouse passions, energize people, and motivate them to take immediate action. On the positive side, show people how they can make a difference by showing them how they can be excited or inspired. On the negative side, try to make people angry rather than sad. 4. The degree to which products and ideas are observed by the general public has a significant impact on their acceptance. Why? Because observable things are more likely to be discussed than intangible things. The greater the visibility of a product or service, the greater the likelihood that it will prompt people to act. A simple way to make things more visible is to create ideas that promote themselves to the public. The subject line of every email sent from Hotmail, for example, contained a link that read, Get your private. Free email from Hotmail at www.hotmail.com. Designing products that promote themselves is a particularly effective strategy for small businesses and non-profit organizations that do not have a lot of financial resources. We need to be like Lululemon and live strong and create behavioral residue, discernible evidence that sticks around even after people have used our product or engaged with our ideas. If something is built to be seen, it is also built to be developed. 5. It has a practical application. People enjoy sharing practical, useful information with their friends and family. Others can benefit from the information. Offering something of practical value not only helps to spread the word about something, but it also helps to strengthen social ties. Unlike social currency, which is primarily concerned with information senders and how sharing makes them appear, practical value is primarily concerned with the information receiver. Decisions and judgments are not always rational or optimal in nature. These theories are instead grounded in scientific research into the psychological principles that govern how people perceive and process information. According to prospect theory, people do not evaluate things in absolute terms, which is one of its central tenets. They assess them in relation to a comparison standard, also known as a reference point. When the word sale was placed next to a price, sales increased even though the price itself remained the same, according to one study. As distance from the reference point increases, it is hypothesized that the same change will have a smaller impact on the system. Promotional offers that are unexpected or outperform expectations are more likely to be passed along to others. This can be due to the fact that the actual deal itself exceeds expectations, for example, the percentage off is so unbelievable, 
or it can be due to the way the deal is framed making it appear to be so, depending on the circumstances. Another factor that influences whether or not a deal appears valuable is its accessibility. As a result, restricting availability through scarcity and exclusivity increases the perceived value of goods and services. Another framing factor that has an impact on practical value is the manner in which promotional offers are communicated. Some discounts are expressed in terms of dollars off, while others are expressed in terms of absolute discounts, $5 off or $50 off. Other discounts are expressed as a percentage off or as a percentage off of the total purchase price, 5% or 50% off. According to the findings of the researchers, whether a discount appears larger as a dollar amount or as a percentage off depends on the original price. The presentation of price reductions in dollar terms, rather than percentage terms, makes them appear to be a better deal for high-ticket items such as laptops or other large-ticket items. When a product's price is less than $100, the rule of 100 states that percentage discounts will appear to be larger than they actually are. When considering the reasons why some useful content is shared more than others, a couple of considerations are worthwhile. The first is the manner in which the information is presented. The second important factor is the target audience. Among the six principles of contagiousness discussed by Berger in his book, practical value may be the most straightforward to put into practice. 6. Narratives. Information is disseminated under the guise of what appears to be idle conversation. A brand or product benefit is integral to the story when virality is at its highest level of value. When it has become so intertwined with the narrative that people are unable to tell the story without bringing it up. When attempting to create contagious content, valuable virality is essential to success. That entails emphasizing the idea or desired benefit as a central theme throughout the narrative. Certain characteristics increase the likelihood that products and ideas will be talked about and shared. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. See you in next audiobook.